Well, what makes Navarra wines special from other wines from Spain or even from other international wines, I think it's their diversity. Also, we have to bear in mind that Navarra, in terms of winemaking, is located in one of the best regions in the world. And it's very diverse. The wines of Navarra are very diverse, what you can find in the north, in the south, uh, different types of wine, different types of grapes um, that maybe you don't find in other areas. Navarra has a wide range of wines to offer to all wine lovers. This is something very nice in Navarra. Is in fact, you can find all the wines that will suit you. I mean, wines for all occasions, wines for all type of, of tastes, wines for all type of wine lovers. People don't get um, a clear idea of what uh, Navarra is about. I think it's a, it's a place of diversity, you know, with great quality, with different terroirs, where, they can, where, they, where we can make you know, fantastic wines. It's a region to discover. These are wines to discover. And Navarra joins in a really small region. It's not a big, big uh, uh, region, but it joins the whole climatologies that you can find in the whole Spain. Uh, I love to say that if you came to Navarra, if you come to Navarra, you are going to find that there are so many different soils, broths, climates, that all the dios of Spain are here in Navarra. Navarra is like a wine country, a whole wine country in miniature. You can go from the desert, you know, in the south, all the way to the, you know, the forest, you know, in the north. But especially what makes Navarra different in Spain is the variety of microclimates. It's a land of diversity. We're, we're close to France and close to Rioja. So there is a mix of the two. So some French ones like Merlot and Cabernet Sauvignon are adapted very, very well. We are in between Rioja and Bordeaux. So the climate is very similar to those great winemaking regions. The soils are, are very similar, but at the same time, Navarra has a big diversity between the north and the south. The south is very dry uh, and gives it's good for the growing of certain grapes, while the north is cooler, it's more adapted to other type of grapes. So I think at the end, Navarra can offer, within a very small region, because we're speaking of less than 20,000 hectares, can offer a big, big diversity in terms of a style and uh, yeah, in terms of wines that we can offer to consumers. Uh, what I like of Navarra wines is, is a wine that you can drink on a daily basis, and maybe the wine doesn't, is not the star of the, of the show, but the wine integrates so good with the food that you are having that maybe it's a daily drinking wine and that's what Wines from Navarra can kind of speak about, you know, so it's a wine that it's part of your daily life. But the truth is that in terms of quality, in terms of history, in terms of tradition, in terms of technology, Navarra is as good as any other wine region and I think the quality of the wines demonstrates it. It's good value. Um, you can find a very good, a very nice bottle of wine for a affordable uh, price. We are able to produce very good quality wines, value for money and high-end wines, and the consumers they really need to taste and to, to find out what Navarra can offer. So I would love consumers to taste the wines for them, for, to sample the wine to, the, to all the US so they could actually know how good the Navarra wines are.